Hello guys, I hope you all are good. Till now we studied about area of parallelogram and area of triangles separately, which are on the same base and between the same parallel lines. Today we are going to see triangles and parallelogram both on the same base and between the same parallel. See the question. If a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallels, then prove that the area of triangle is equal to half of the area of the parallelogram. It means saying that two figures are there. That is one is triangle and one is parallelogram. They are standing on the same base and between the same parallel lines. And saying that you have to prove the area of triangle is equal to the half of the area of the parallelogram. Okay, let's start to write what is given here. Given two triangles, given triangle, one triangle that is PAB and parallelogram ADBC both are on the same base. AB and parallel lines are AB and PC. We have to prove that area of triangle PAB is equal to half of the area of parallelogram ABCD. We can see AD parallel to BC but for AP line there is no parallel line. Let's construct a line from B to PC represent as Q. It means you have to draw a line from B to PC and that is parallel to AP line. We can write it as AP parallel to BQ. By this we obtain another parallelogram ABQP. We can say these two parallelograms are on the same base and between the same parallel lines. After seeing these two parallelogram, you have to recall a theorem that is 9.1. We already learned in, in, this, in the theorem 9.1 about two parallelograms of areas equal. For this we can write it as area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of parallelogram ABPQ. Take one parallelogram that is ABPQ. PB is a diagonal there which divides parallelogram in equal areas or we can say equal parts. PB diagonal divides parallelogram ABPQ into two equal parts, two equal triangles. Can I say one part is half of parallelogram, whole parallelogram? Okay, with the example I will explain this. Suppose I have a paper and I tear this paper into two parts, two equal parts. Can I say one part is half of whole paper? Yes. Like that only. Can I say parallelogram ABPQ? In ABPQ, triangle area of triangle PAB is equal to half of the area of ABPQ parallelogram. I taken one triangle from whole parallelogram. The triangle is a half part of parallelogram. Now see the other triangle. Area of triangle PQB is equal to half of the area of ABPQ. We know two triangles are congruent. If two triangles are congruent, then their areas are equal. Can I write like this? Triangle PAB congruent to triangle BQP. And their areas also equal. Why? Because if two figures are congruent, then their areas are equal. Area of PAB is equal to area of triangle BQP. In place of area of BQP triangle, we can write uh, half of area of ABPQ will replace with the equation. Why? Because that is also a part of the parallelogram. We can write for other parallelogram also. That is triangle area of triangle PAB is equal to half of the area of parallelogram ABCD. Because here two parallelograms are on the same base and between the same parallel lines. Then their distance in between two parallel lines is same. So their areas are also equal. So I replace one parallelogram to other parallelogram. Hence we proved here that is triangle area of triangle PAB is equal to half of the area of parallelogram ABCD.